Hey guys, the Real Minecraft Show here, and uh, like always, um, like yesterday at least, The Walking Dead. Bing, bing. Let's do work. So, um, I won't be continuing, or well, I will be, but not for maybe a week. I won't be doing my uh, fun in the sun, but when I do, it will be uh, pretty fun in the sun. Um, so I'll be quiet now, because you won't hear what they say. Live action. I would not want to be in the back of that truck. Why is he in the back of the truck? There's a zombie apocalypse coming. I'd be scared to death. Hey, Sean. I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Bye. But you're my friend. Bye. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mayor has gone. The greenies? Greenies? I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. He's glad. Don't be mad, get glad. You brought a couple guests. Boys Your life. boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Rape. It's a rape train. Rape uh, train. Yeah. It's not doing so good. Oh, no. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. I'm going to go see what I have. Saw the right exit. Let's have a look. This guy yeah, is kind of sketchy. This is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel. How'd this happen? Jump of the fence. <laughs> Running from something? Just like everybody else. What type of danger has the girl seen? Plenty. The kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. Oh, yeah. You still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. You're telling me you don't live with the dead? full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. We're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, Is he Asian? we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fence. There is. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Go on for it. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, Not do action. what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Who are the really? folks in the barn? I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. Infections? What do we do then? 
Chop off your leg. Probably just have to shoot you. I'm kidding. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. Yeah, it would. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. Do work. Look at those beds. It smells like... <laughs> Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my mom and dad. <gasps> you do? I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Okay. There's no Rick. <laughs> Next day. Day two. <coughs> yeah, it gave us a loading screen. Clap it out. <coughs> hey, get oh, up. Oh, this guy. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a it's barn, little lady. Smart. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're gonna know a fence! There's a tractor and everything! Oh, it's a kid. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag sure, along. Sure, yeah. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty what name. name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Go, Duck. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Larry's well, trying to fix his car. Seems like an all right dude. It's not the most reliable pickup yeah, it in the world, like it. but it gets the job done. Let's go see how the fence is doing. Huh. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Let's talk him. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... Hey, Lee. 
Need a hand? No. That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. Yeah, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. What? Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh, shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's what? eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Do you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Do you, uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Yeah, you better. Seems like those two are getting along. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Do you need, need any, any help? help? No, I think he I got it. He's got it, guys. Do you need any what? help? What? What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed yeah. up. You'll figure it out. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting dolphin? and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Huh? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my what? boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two, two seconds. seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled oh, yeah. upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Oh, Not really. I don't really don't care. Can I close the trunk on his head? Darn it. Oh, there's Ricky. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well... You're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that oh, you were yeah. full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like Why? this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. 
Is that supposed to be like a John Deere thing? Was brought up to I don't know. Yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife anymore. No wife uh, anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, Clementine. is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Yeah. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are yeah. or what you did. Let's say things <coughs> get better back in the cities, or they get worse okay. before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna What is wrong trouble. with this guy? Well at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! running Get out. sure Get the fuck out of oh. here. I'm sorry sorry your son is Gross, alive. we're gonna end it there I'm tense. and you but you didn't come in